person couldn't, and because of that, he couldn't talk correctly, all right? So he couldn't hear, and he couldn't talk correctly. And I, that just pre-assumes that perhaps he could hear at one time because he could have the capacity to talk. And then maybe over time, his hearing diminished, and there his, he began to have a speech impediment. Has anyone ever dealt with a speech impediment growing up, or you know some people or family members or friends who had a speech impediment? It's so frustrating if you have a speech impediment and you, you're trying to, to articulate something and it just doesn't come out clearly. You, you, you have these clear thoughts, but you just can't voice them. You can't get them out. It's so, um, it's so frustrating. Or if, maybe if you didn't have a speech impediment, have you ever been tongue-tied and you just couldn't get out your feelings or your emotion? Or are you someone who just habitually puts your foot in your mouth? You're always saying sorry because it's, it's, I've, I'm bound to say something that's going to hurt your feelings or I didn't mean to say some of us are just, you know, we're, we're frank, we're blunt. We just, we just say it like it is, and apparently it hurts people feeling. So, you know, maybe this is you. Maybe you can relate to this person who can't hear and can't speak correctly. This implies that your ear and your tongue are connected, which means that how you hear determines how you talk. So now more than ever, we need to hear the voice of God, and we need to hear the voices around us. Now more than ever, this is not the time to be deaf in the spirit. This is not the time not to know where, who you're listening to, because I can just listen to you talk and I can tell who you've been listening to. I can just listen to you have a conversation and tell who you're giving most of your ears and your attention to. I can can tell by the posture of the music or the people or your surrounding. The way you talk says what you've been listening to. So it's time for us to reevaluate. Perhaps we are this man who needs God to loose our tongue and touch our ears. God, I need to hear from you better. How many people, that's your prayer. God, I need to hear from you. I need to hear a clear word. Some of y'all are, are have the um, decisions that you need to make. You need big decisions. You need to know which way to go. God, I need to hear from you. I need you to touch me and heal my hearing. And then I need you to loose my tongue so that I can speak, speak correctly.